Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching, we're in Statics and today we're going to solve one of the questions that was put down in the comments below. So what we're going to do is that um, the, basically the person asks why is there at my point B in here, why there are these three forces? Well, he realizes that the tension comes from the cable of the truck and then that also this 0.2 MB is the frictional force but what it's a little bit of a doubt it's why is this normal be 90 degrees from this tension T, okay? And why is it in this direction, okay? So in order to solve this question, like this doubt, we're going to go over here. I want to explain in more depth what's going on. So over here, we have our initial state problem. And what we're going to do is that we're going to zoom in just for better understanding. And what we're going to realize is that my point B is in here. Now, what we can see is that my point B is touching this surface. Knowing that it's touching this surface and realizing that when an object is on top of any surface, that surface will create a normal force in order to support it. It's kind of like putting um, an object on top of a table. Why doesn't it fall down? Because the table is exerting a force going upwards while the weight of the bottle is doing a, weight, uh, a force going downwards and they, they are opposite to each other, therefore they cancel out and no, nothing is moving, right? So the same thing happens in here at my point B. We have the beam resting in our static problem is resting at that point. Therefore, some of the weight will come in this direction, but the surface of the truck will make an opposite um, force against it. So let's try it again to do our free body diagram in here a little bit more clear. And what we have is that we will have our bean, which looks something like this. Okay. Now that we have our bean, let's focus on our point B. So our point B is in here. So this is my point B. Now, the surface of this bean looks something similar like this. So the truck of the bed of the truck looks something like this, which is the surface of my point B, right? Now, as I stated before, well, we have the tension of this cable. So this cable is trying to pull this bean up. Therefore, we're going to have the force going up. This is my tension T. Since we want to move in that inclined direction like this, meaning that I want to move in this direction, I will have a frictional force trying to counter an opposite to that force, which is going to be equal to my frictional force at B, which is going to be mu, mu sub V times my normal B. Now, in here is where we realize, hey, we're missing the normal B. Now, the normal B, as I said before, it's normal to the surface. And what we mean by normal, it's exactly 90 degrees from the surface. So our surface is this brown surface, 90 degrees from it will be in this direction, right? So we will draw our tension similar to it's 90 degrees and it will be my normal P. Maybe one of the confusion will be why is it 60 degrees from here to our x-axis and the reason why is that first of all we know that from the x-axis this tension t or this surface is inclined by 30 degrees right but then as the initial statement i said before is that this normal is 90 degrees meaning that we're missing an extra 16 here for my total normal to be in a degree of 90 degrees with respect to the surface. So this should be 90 degrees, okay? I hope this clarifies a little our doubts about this normal force. And I hope you guys liked the video. Please push the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.